from here up. Okay, cool. Our guest today, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna redo that. Don't like it. Why is an intro the hardest thing for me to possibly do? Is there a fly? Did you see that fly? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Colin. We got a special episode today. It's two very special things. For one, we got a co-host for today's episode. This guy's a dear friend of mine. He's an actor, co-host of a podcast, Petty Crimes Podcast. Who am I talking about? The one, the only. Griff Stark Ennis. Come on in, Griff. How are you, I'm buddy? Good. I'm good. I'm excited to be here. My dear friend, Griff, we're going to do, we'll do a little title card right here. Petty Perfect. Crimes, Perfect. actor, you know, future Oscar. Exactly, winner. exactly. Yes. So Griff is going to be helping me with our, 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 we're going to cut out all of those R's. Okay, Griff is going to be helping me with our recipe today, which is going to be a Paloma. We're going to do a smash burger and then an arugula salad. I'm starving. Yeah. Yeah. And we, I knew, I knew you would be. And we're going to be doing a parody of the very famous Haley Bieber's Who's in My Bathroom. Oh my god. In my bathroom. I've seen this before. This Not is this, nice. But you know, I've seen Haley's version. Right, right. Hers oh. is hers is okay. Hers is okay. Can I pee? Yeah, um, yeah. Yes. Uh let's just we should just clear some stuff out. We'll we'll get that out, and then I'll just make sure I'll turn this down. This is great. Bathroom cheeseburgers. I love it. What a great concept. This is not the first time you've had a cheeseburger in a bathroom. This is not the first time I've had meat in a bathroom. Oh! Think he's talking about penis, ladies and gents. <laughs> hey! We're gonna be making a nice little, nice little light and fruity take on a on a. It's a take on a margarita, yeah. right? A paloma. A smokier margarita. That's yeah. what I say to people at the club that I work at. Smokier margarita. We'll talk about use of the word fruity. Mm, yes. Probably stop. Yeah, but he's probably saying yeah. cut that out. I'll probably cut that out. Yeah, right yeah. Now. You know what's funny? I never used one of these things before. A shaker. Yeah. And I uh, worked in a bar for a little while. What were you making? I was a bar back. Oh, got it. Yeah. So, so I was not allowed to touch. Yeah. yeah, I actually I poured um, I poured a couple beers once, and the bartender turned back to me and he was like, oh, "Don't do that." Yeah, because yeah. like people were talking to me like, "Hey, my man, hey, give me a pint." And yeah, I was like, yeah, all right, cool. And then I got yelled at immediately. Yeah, you got to make no eye contact when you're a bar back. Yes. Then, pe then people draw you in and they're like, hey, "Exactly." Give me a beer. You were only ever a bar back. Yes. So let me just show you what that yep. little promotion would have gotten you. Yep. And there you have it. That's what they wouldn't trust me to do. Oh, look at this rim. One hell of a rim job. One hell of a rim job. You he knows what? what he's doing. That's I'm um, climbing Hollywood. <gasps> yeah. Does that mean it's ready? No. That's nice. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. First question we have, the gravy incident. <gasps> yeah, um, ah. What exactly would you like your audience to know about the gravy incident? I think what I'd like to do is I would like to have you tell your side of the story. Sure. And then I will tell the truth. Okay. <laughs> okay. Friendsgiving, you and Gracie hosted. Um, I think even Rob was here. Or no, your your brother no, you was were back here. East, I think. Your brother was here. I never went back east for Thanksgiving. You didn't? We invited you. I don't think you did. Oh Damn, dude. Um gravy incident. Where would you yeah, how where'd you like to start? Let's lean into the uncomfortable. Yeah. I was invited over to your place. I, among all the other guests, volunteered to bring the gravy. And so I spent a considerable amount of time finding a recipe and then executing it. Got to a great place. Bring over the gravy in my body to Friendsgiving here in this very apartment. I drop it off in the kitchen and I see on the counter that there's another gravy already made. What the heck did that in get In the there? kitchen. I just knew, I knew. You were cooking most of the stuff. Yeah. I came up to you and I said, what's good? That was meant to be bringing the gravy. You've already got one made here. Yeah. I remember thinking I've never been invited to a Friendsgiving and not felt like I was a friend. Yes. Genuinely, I want to know why there was another gravy when I was meant to be bringing gravy. So my side of the story is, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. 
No, yes, I didn't want to waste the drippings, okay? And I will say, when I tried to warm up your gravy, it was so thick. You come over and you see me making gravy and you go, what the f that feels like a slight towards me. And then I dump your gravy in the pot and it's in the shape of a, sh of a shoe. <laughs> what? Yeah, and I'm like, why is he f***ing with me? <laughs> I invite him over to my home and he's like, this looks like it was from AutoZone. It's like, <laughs> what, what the f***, you know? So, I'm sorry. That's all right. Next question. Are you seeking retribution? I would seek retribution. There should be retribution, there should be a consequence. Let me, let me noodle on what it should be. Noodle away. And whether or not it should involve gravy. Noodle away. Or my gravy. You're stuck on a deserted island with the Beavers. You can only bring five items. Wow. What are the five items and why? I would bring a water desalinator. I would bring a knife. I would bring a journal and pen. And I'm gonna bring a photo of something that reminds me of pre-island. So maybe a photo of my parents, just to be like, I see them, I need to get my ass off the island to get back to them. What What are two items that you would bring? Two? Two, just two. Fire starter. Oh, Yeah, you're Jesus hell, Christ. you are Wow. You already said, you, you said you're fine, you're screwed. And but you that... could boil water. What a <laughs> idiot I am. Hey, at least you have that photo of mommy. Shut the <laughs> off, I hate you. <laughs> Okay, last question. Is it actually giving Brad summer? Oh. Or is it actually giving hottest summer on record and the cost of living is crippling the middle class summer? <laughs> I'll do the sauce while you're doing the arugula salad. Okay. Um, do you have any extra Colin olive oil? You're calling me a virgin. Hmm? Just, wanna, just wanna you to know. I've had plenty of sex in my day. Good. Good for you. You know what I've been wanting to make? What? Is a pickle juice martini. That Ooh. just like sounds really good, right? That does sound really f people good. People who like pickle juice. So if you know of a good recipe, Colin's f f followers, oh. send it through. Talking to you, mom. <laughs> this still looks way too uh, loose. Here you go, look at these. Ooh. Ooh, oh no, I can't do these yet. I have to slice my onion. In the meantime, ooh, ooh. this looks pretty good. Can you actually grab that slice of tomato for me? You want it? Out of the garbage. Thanks. I'm gonna get the buns going now. Got a of the buns, get a little toast going there. Three on there. <gasps> Ow! Are you okay, Colin? It's a little hot. Um, yeah, a little bit. A little, little hot. Bit, a little bit. Wow, well, in theory, it's like, oh, haha, ha, we're in a bathroom cooking. Isn't that so funny because of how absurd it is? And then you get into a bathroom and you start cooking and you're like, this is annoying. Just hit it with a, just a little grating of uh, Parmesan. That looks good, Griff. Cheese in the first. Wow, that looks fire. Do you think Rob was a good enough boy to get one? I don't think we're gonna have enough. Ooh. Nice. There you go, Rob. Hey, for you. We got to do a burger. Cheers. 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 Thanks for having me. This is so Thanks fun. Thanks for coming on. That's really f***ing good. A couple takeaways. Haley could learn some things from this. If, if you are going to bring the show back, you don't need such a big bathroom. <laughs> You do it smaller. Yeah, be know? poor, be poor. Yeah, you can do it in you can do it in a small bathroom. You can find a friend who's got rent controlled one bedroom place. <laughs> and you can cook in there, you know? Don't forget to check out Griff's podcast, Petty Crimes. Petty Crimes, you can find it on YouTube now. If you want something lighthearted and funny and well structured, which yeah. I think I breathe into most sets I walk on. You, you call this well structured. I call myself well structured. Fair enough. Yeah, very fair yeah, enough. Yeah, nice try. Uh, yeah, check out Petty Crimes wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube. Um, we'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. That has been another episode of Cooking with Colin. I was expecting this to be, you know, this catastrophe of an episode. If you could handle whatever that was, you could get that. I'm trying to wrap up the episode and he's slurping up arugula, you know? Like a goddamn salamander. What the <laughs>